We'll be watching Jane. OK, March is here and spring is in the air. Birds are chirping, flowers blooming. Butterflies are back. Also, GMT's Paige McCoy Smith live at the Fort Worth Botanic Garden for the opening of Butterflies in the Garden, the Mayan Mayan experience. Good morning to you and good morning, Texas. Yes, indeed, spring is here and the butterflies are here. There's virtually thousands of them here in the conservatory at the Fort Worth Botanic Gardens. And when you come, when you drive up to the Botanic Gardens, we have some video of what it looks like. They that has beautiful, beautiful images of butterflies. And that is in indeed what the celebration is all about as we celebrate these butterflies. Something that we look forward to every single year. And I'm joined here by Mr. Bob Byers. You are the new president of the Botanic Gardens. Congratulations on the new position. And this is the first time that you have been able to be here with the butterfly exhibit. Thank you, Paige. Yes, it's really exciting. This is a great event here at the gardens. Welcome to the Fort Worth Botanic Garden and to Butterflies in the Gardens. We're excited to have you here. Mm -hmm. And this is uh, the center of our tropical conservatory, which has 10,000 square feet of rainforest plants from all over the tropical parts of the world. So it's a great space in itself, and it's even more special right now with the butterfly exhibit. Well, and it's really, a, it's such a treat to kind of walk around and be, you know, have butterflies surrounding you everywhere. Absolutely gorgeous butterflies ranging from a variety of different species. Um, several in particular come from um, a Mayan area, and that's the theme of this year exhibit. In fact, we have some footage, some video footage of what you've done to the lobby to really kind of give that Mayan feel to it, as well as you have some, we, we're showing some of the plants that come from South America. Yes, Butterflies in the Garden is a collaboration with the Botanical Research Institute of Texas, which is also here on the campus. And we came up with a Mayan theme because a lot of our butterflies and our plants are from Central America. Mm -hmm. And Britt has a researcher named Grace Bascopy who specializes in uh, artisans that work in the Mayan area and the plants that they use. So this was a great connection. It is a definitely a wonderful connection. We have some of these, these butterflies that you would not otherwise be able to see. You can come here and see these butterflies because they're not native to, to Texas. So it's an exciting celebration indeed. Well, as you're looking around, as we're kind of giving you a treat and seeing some of the butterflies flutter by, another big part of what the Botanic Gardens does is they have an association with BRIT, which is an educational component. This is Ed Schneider. He was the president of BRIT. Tell us more about that. First of all, what does BRIT stand for? BRIT, Botanical Research Institute of Texas. Fantastic. And that's a real important part of this because you partner in many ways with the Botanic Gardens to make sure that people are getting a good education um, about what you know how these different types of species really do serve our planet. That's right. And BRIT has two exhibits that also are occurring in the Brit building during the butterfly exhibit. One is called Partners in Pollination. Mm -hmm. It's all about the pollinators, the various insects and animals that 90% of the flowering plants depend on to produce their seeds and keep the species propagated. The other exhibit is Plants in the Mayan Forest, and it talks about the important tree species that the Mayans used uh, to in their culture. Yeah, very important and those are exhibits of herbarium specimens and library books and samples that occur again in Brit uh, which is open Tuesday through Friday 10 to 4 and also the first Saturday so March 5th April 2nd uh, you can exhibit, see those exhibits as well. Wonderful. And the Botanic Gardens has also been so wonderful and really serving as a resource to our community, particularly to, to the children in our community. You had a contest this year, um, and the winner of this contest was able to use the, her artwork on the, all the collateral materials and all the banners that are promoting this. And that's an important part of it is to make sure that the children are engaged as well. Absolutely. We'll have school groups through here every day. It's a wonderful experience for them, mm -hmm. and it's a great way to get them in touch with nature in ways that they don't get in a lot of them in their everyday life. So right. it's a wonderful experience. Thank you so much. I appreciate this. I do invite you to come to the Fort Worth Botanic Gardens and see these glorious butterflies. This exhibit will be taking place through April 3rd. All right. Thank you, gentlemen. And I'll send it back to you. Rudy Pro.